Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today is the finale of the Roulette Pan Collab. This was a project pan created by Alexi and Rebecca and I loved this project pan so much. It's, it uses prompts and it uses a random app just to choose the products that you get to use on the project and I just fell in love with it and it helped me rotate products more often and to create new rules and it's basically one of the things that inspired me or that took me over the edge to start my shop my stash year like the year that I'm having right now so if you want to see the finale the products that I had left if I reach my goal on them and my thoughts on them then just keep on watching the So Jaded palette. This palette was meant to have three prompts in it. So I decided that even if I didn't hit pan on the colors that I chose for the prompts, I wanted to hit pan on three shades from this palette and I did. So on my last update, I needed to hit pan in one more and I finally did. You can see that I have pan on pearl, stone and smoky quartz. This is definitely not my favorite palette, but now it looks more loved than it used to and for me that's just something that makes it worth it. I have a huge dip in ruby, in diamond and I used every single shade on this palette. It's just not a favorite. I think I will put it on my makeup artistry kit for the pops of color and to use it for the transition shades and stuff but it's definitely not the best formula that I have tried, not even from Colourpop. This MAC pigment in the shade Tan, I was supposed to use it 10 times during the entire project. Today was the last time that I used it. For me, it's extremely hard to use pigments, but you can see that it shows more usage. You don't see it completely full like it was when I started this project, and that makes me happy, and I truly love the finish of it. If you see this inner part, like the semi or soft cut crease that I have, it was done with this one. It's so beautiful. It's just that pigments are so messy that the crazy amount that I have will be enough for me for the rest of my life. If I ever get into pigments enough when I can say that I use a pigment every day or at least three pigments a week or whatnot, then maybe I will buy other colors that I don't have, but I don't see how that's possible. I have a lot of shades of pigment. So this one made me realize that even more. I'm gonna be in a permanent no-buy when it comes to pigments because they're just not my thing. Even though they're lovely, even though their application makes every single eye look that you do better, they are just a step that I don't wanna take on my many steps makeup routine. This is one that I didn't reach my goal on and this one was for the prompt something black and this is the Urban Decay Oil Slick. And this one even though I used it, and I used it way more than if I didn't put it on this project, I just prefer matte black eyeliners. So I won't even make myself buy any more eyeliners. I have still colorful eyeliners in my collection from Urban Decay, most of them. And as soon as I finish them, I will never have more than two colorful eyeliners at a time, like a purple and a blue, and that would be it. But I will always keep a black always matte black, always waterproof, a uh, br deep brown, cool tone brown, and then a warm, medium tone brown, like Costa Riche or something like that, and a nude. Never again I will buy colorful eyeliners in the way that I did. I bought them so many years ago and I still haven't gone through every single one of them, and I just don't want to be wasteful, so even black liners with shimmers, those are not my style. So I will finish them and I will keep working on finishing them. But I'm again a no buy when it comes to colorful eyeliners permanently. One thing that I threw out because I put it on my empties for last year and my empties finale, it was the Black Orchid Perfume by Tom Ford, the little empty packaging. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to finish that perfume. You guys know that I don't wear perfume every day, but that one I was putting effort to just finish it up. I like the scent, but one that I'm working on my mini project pan, which is the YSL Black Opium. This one is more of my style. It's sweeter, it's more me. But the Tom Ford Black Orchid, even if I had the budget, even if perfume didn't give me a headache, I think the scent is not my scent. So I'm happy that I finished that because I have a lot of perfume samples right there in a little bit that I need to go through. A product from a controversial brand, it was the Kat Von D Lyric 
powder and this was from the shade and light contour palette it used to be Kat Von D it wasn't the KVD vegan beauty or whatnot and this one I said that I would be happy if I hit side pan on it and I've been expanding the pan I'm actually using this today on my face and I hit side pan on it I'm thinking about repressing this into another palette if I don't get to finish it as a single because I realized even more now that I prefer not to buy singles or things that I put on C palettes because I prefer to have the packaging of a product. If this would come in a compact, I would have probably already finished it. Even if I'm not that into using these type of colors on my face as I used to before, I would have already finished it because every single pan that I have when it comes to face products, they're basically unreached for. Yeah, this one I know I will finish. You will see it on my empties this year for sure. But I wouldn't purchase shades like this anymore. And I wouldn't get them as singles either or powder products as singles to put in a C palette unless they were going on my makeup artist ticket. An item in a pastel shade and I chose Magnetic Pink. And this one is permanent but I have it on the mini size that came on the holiday collection from Laura Mercier. I love the caviar sticks but the metallics are my favorite except for Coco which is just crazy beautiful. And I love that as an everyday color. But this one doesn't come with a lot of product but I wanted to use it five times since it was brand new. And it's just stunning and I love pinks. You can see it right there. This is the perfect inner corner highlight for my pink looks and that's what I used it for so you don't need that much that's why you don't see like a crazy amount of progress but I set myself a goal to use it five times and I did use it the five times so this will go back into my collection I still love the caviar sticks I fall in love with them more and more every time I use them and I think they're perfect whether you are super young or you have more mature skin and mature and older eyes and or if you would like your eyeshadow to be easier to apply, to apply with your fingers or to last longer, these are perfect. You would carry basically a face palette as three or four or five shades of your choosing and you can do everyday looks or bold looks because they have them in every single shade and finish that you can imagine. So I'm happy that I got more use out of this one that was brand new and I fell in love with the color. You guys know that I love pink. A product that you think it's overpriced and I was talking about the new one from La Mer because this one is, has been discontinued. This is the powder and this one I set myself to use it six times. I want to finish it. This is something that I don't know if I will finish this year because it comes with so much product and as a buffing powder it takes forever to go through a powder when you're only buffing with it. But I would like to rotate this more into my collection. I'm in love with it. I think this is one of the most beautiful powders and it just makes your face look flawless. I put a goal to use it six times and I did reach that goal but I just think six times is not enough for the amount of product that this comes with but the goal was reached. Then I pulled up the prompt, your fave nude, blush, lipstick, or polish. So I ended up choosing the Lancome Le Absolute Rouge Cream in the shade last minute. And these they came up with when they did the collab with Camila Coelho. And I said that this was my favorite after finishing the one from MAC that I love, the Enchanted One Lipstick. And I said that I didn't want to finish this because it's just a lipstick that I love so much that I didn't want to be without it. And you can see that that's all I have left. It's not that much because even though I set as a goal to use this five times, I've used this, I think, 15 times or more. This is just, this is not the lipstick that I'm wearing today, but it's a lipstick that I would wear every single day until I finished it would be happy with it. I love the scent of Lancome lipsticks. They smell like Abuelita's type of lipstick, like your granny's lipstick. They have sort of a rose scent, old fashioned makeup scent, but it's a nice, nice scent. I love this. It feels luxurious and expensive in my opinion. And this lipstick formula was so worth it. If I go back to the US and go to a store, I wanna swatch the nudes that they have to see if I can purchase another shade that it's more in the pinky tone. Because I love this, but I would like to have a nude shade in a pinky tone as well as a peachy tone. I always love mixing them up or just using either or. So yeah, this one got a ton of use out of me. I think over 20 uses 
Then for a discontinued product, I chose my Narcissist Loaded Palette, which is one of the best palettes that NARS came up with. And on this one, I had pan in one shade and I said that I wanted to hit pan in another shade and I hit pan on two shades. So I hit pan on this one right here, the light one, and then I also hit pan, I don't remember, but I think it was either the brown or the gray, one of them. I hit piano and I think it was the gray one but I don't truly I truly don't remember at this point because it was at the beginning of this update that I hit piano in both shades I started using it every day and I truly love this palette I think it's a versatile palette to have or just a basics palette to have and that you can carry this on a makeup artist kit if you have it pull it out and carry it as a makeup artist if you have a YouTube channel and sometimes you don't want to show discontinued products which is not my case but it's a product like this that you can use on basically every single client that you do for one shade or another then just do it that way and that way you you'll get use out of a palette that it will be forgotten in your collection but that is a high quality palette because this is high quality and it's beautiful i love the deep brown it's almost a black i love the black that it has here it's really really soft and dark and then i love this shade i love that it has a nude i love that it has a gold it comes with metallics that are beautiful let's talk about this one that i hit piano this is so pretty to use as a cut crease for a bride. It's just a palette that's versatile, so I'm happy that I didn't reach my goal. I surpassed my goal by hitting piano in two shades instead of one. Your most expensive lip product, and my goal was to use it 10 times at least, but I've used it way more than 10 times. This is the Chanel Rouge Coco Shine in the shade Secret. This is discontinued, but I find that the shade Boy from the new Chanel Rouge Coco, I think it has another finish, but it's a dupe for this one. This is so beautiful, I love this. I used it 10 times and then some more. I think I used it 15 times or more. This is the kind of lipstick that I not only put as a companion to a look like I, the one that I did today, even though this is not the lipstick that I'm wearing, um, it's also a lipstick that when I was using the Lancome one and then the day would go by and I didn't have any lipstick after lunch or whatnot, I would apply this one instead of the other one because I was gonna stay at home, I wasn't gonna be filming anymore. And this is a natural finish lipstick that makes my lips look beautiful. It's not super, super pigmented that it will make my lips look awake or bitten, but it will make my lips nude but alive at the same time and it's a comfortable formula that you can apply and apply and reapply and you will never get tired of it. So this is one of the lipsticks that I will keep in my drawer since it's one of the oldest in my collection and I will make sure that I finish it. But And then a truly unexpected surprise was that I hit pan on my VCR palette. And I don't know if you guys remember, but I thought it was so funny when I was editing that video that I said, wouldn't it be nice if I, by using this, fell in love with it and thought that it was a great formula and that I wouldn't be able to put it down? Something like that. Like, I said, wouldn't it be nice to fall in love with this formula and then feel happy that I have all these shades or whatnot? I have this palette in the two shades that it came with. It was on sale at some point or I think it's on sale right now on Sephora, and I've fallen in love with the formula. What I've done with this palette is amazing. I've used it as a concealer, I've used it as a corrector, I've used it as a contour palette, I've used it to highlight my face, then I've used it to cover pimples, I've used it as a blush, as a cream blush on my face, because I wanted to reach for it more and more and more. So I put it in a little makeup basket and I would reach for it every single day. I put here a goal to use it 10 times as well, and I've used it way more than 10 times for sure. You can see it right here. I have major pan on this shade, and this was basically an unused palette. I used it, I think, about five times tops, before putting it on this project and I was using it every single day to color correct my eyes and when I hit pan on this one I decided to go for this one so this one has a dip 
and since this was dark I was mixing it with this one I would do my contour with these three shades I would use these two as blushes or this one as a blush as well today I highlighted with these two colors I highlighted this part of my face because I wanted to make my foundation that I'm trying to use up a little bit lighter. I would use almost every single shade of this palette, I think except for this one that I used as a blush. But what I want to do is since this is on the older side, I'm going to keep it in my drawer for the entire year. And I'm going to do the same with the other one that I have and I'm going to see if I can finish them during this year or get a ton of use out of them so that I can just feel like I got my $80 from each palette out of them because they have a nice quality to them. They're blendable. They're super, super easy to blend. I didn't use any other concealer today. I used these two shades as concealer and that's all I have with my Laura Mercier Translucent and they blend beautifully. I use my Cryolan Drops to make them softer, but they still have the same amount of pigmentation when I want them not to give me extremely, extremely coverage or, or thick coverage, but a lightweight coverage and they work amazingly. If you are a makeup artist and you don't have this, what are you doing with your life? This is just perfection. This is a thinner, but it doesn't make everything super light in the sense that it won't cover. It just makes the product have a lighter feel to it when you're applying it on your skin without removing the pigmentation. So that's how I've been using this, but you can see that it looks more used than abused. Everything has sort of a dip to it, and these are highly pigmented. If you have a makeup artistry kit, I fell in love with it. So I would highly suggest you getting it and trying it out for yourself because it's beautiful. I think the other shades on the other palette are better for me, but since that's the case, I wanna use this one quicker. Uh, rotate it with that one and use it more but I it happened I fell in love with it and I'm so happy that that happened and I have one pan I can't believe that I have a pan on this type of product that I thought that I hated forever okay so for the 18 products that I pulled throughout the entire project I reached goal on 16 products and that makes me super excited I even hit a semi goal on one of the two that I didn't reach my goal which was to make myself try to finish it but I hit side pan on this one and then the black one I know I will finish eventually but this project helped me a lot to go through items that I wouldn't have chosen for myself without the prompts in mind. So that's it for this project you guys. Thank you to Rebecca and Alexi. I hope you come up with this project once more because I fell in love with it. And I can't wait to see all of the other people that participated on this project and see their finales and see how they did and what this project meant for them. So that's it you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna leave this on its own playlist. And I'm hoping that they do a ninth round of this project soon. I love you and I guess I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.